everybody. No, it's not Ted Nugent. It's Don Jameson, formerly of That Metal Show. I'm here in Chicago, and I'm hanging out. But what I really like to do when I'm not banging my head at a live show is I check out the Strauss Project, and so should you. Strauss Project rolls on. We are with Ricky Rackman. Hey, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no problem. Good time, Chicago Open Air. Yeah, and you know him, of course, as the host of Headbangers Ball. Tell us what you're doing nowadays, man. Um, I've been working in radio. I've been doing a show that's rock and roll and NASCAR for about 15 years. I still do a little bit of rock and roll stuff. Um, still own the Cat House merchandise. I don't have the club anymore. But right now what I'm doing is I'm riding my motorcycle in every single state in America, except Alaska and Hawaii, and raising money for cystic fibrosis. And people go on social media, on my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Ricky Rackman, and they just tell me places to stop, and I go there and stop, and I meet people on the road. So I won't be home for probably a month and a half, and I'm just riding my motorcycle by myself in every state. Wow, did you ride here today? Yeah. That's amazing. So you're all over, how many states have you been in already? Like 16 or 17, I think. So I got a long way to go. I'm not going to be home for over a month and a half. Well, hopefully you plan it out so you've got that climate working Well, in your obviously, favor. I, no, it's been raining almost every single day. And obviously, I haven't been planning it out because I'm not even really sure how many states I hit. <laughs> like, I knew I, I went into Arkansas for like five minutes and Maine for like 10. But the other ones I've been staying in for a while and having just a, a really great time. I really love doing this. What made you decide to do this? I'm a biker and I've been doing it every year. I've ridden coast to coast seven times, Mexico to Canada three times, and I just love riding. And and I did what I call like Trump tweet. You just put something out there without even thinking about your put, put. And I just put like, I'm gonna ride in 48 states, tweet. And then I was like, 40, that's a bar. And then I just started, so I just started riding my motorcycle in 48 states, and now that I said it, I have to do it. Yeah, you do. I mean, yeah, you, I can't, you put it out there, so. I can't go back on my words, so it's just great. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, open air and the music scene. Who are you here to see most today? There's so many bands. Today, I, I, I saw Body Count, and my Body Count was so good. Body Count was good from start to finish. Um, who else did I see today? I didn't see a lot of bands today because I was working with these students. I saw Steel Panther early. Um, tomorrow, I'm really excited to see Lamb of God. I'm really excited to see Stone Sour, Slayer, of course. I like Crobot. Okay. But Body Count, I saw from start to finish because I just I really like Ice-T. Do you still have that attachment to bands of back in the era of when you were on? Like, do you have that, that kind of connection to all of them? Yeah, I mean, when I see them, you know, Ice-T was dedicated, song to me in the cat house from the stage. And some of the people that I see that, you know, that I've got friendship with, and, uh, I mean, a lot of, like, 80s hair bands that go on, like, the Monsters of Rock Cruise and stuff, I'm not really in touch with some of those. But the bands that were, like, from Cat House, like, you know, L.A. Guns, Faster, Pussycat, those bands, I'm still very, very tight with. And, uh, yeah. But but some of the bigger bands, when we see each other, it's kind of fun, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, you were... But I'm also not against new bands either, you know? I like I like rock and roll, so whatever it is. What, what new bands are you listening to? I like the band King that's playing here. Yes. I think they're really good. Crowbot was great. Uh, a little bit of everything. I mean, I just listen to everything. So, and you were, I don't know if everybody remembers, Ricky was in the November Rain video with Guns N' Roses. Uh, yeah, I, I remember that. Do you still, have you seen Guns N' Roses since they've been out this time? Oh yeah, I've seen them a couple times. It's different. It's not the Guns N' Roses of days gone by, but it, for people that never saw Guns N' Roses, it's like, you know, you, we don't get, the kids don't get to see Pantera. Right. The kids don't get to see some of the best rock bands there ever were, so. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time today. That's Ricky Rackman. You guys. I'm basically the opening act for Don Jameson. Oh, That's look at right. this. It's thank Don you. Jameson. Well, no, wasn't I the guy that used to fly you to New York every two weeks to do Headbangers Ball? People don't know that Don Jameson used to work on work for Headbangers Ball. Is that right? Yeah, and he was, like, always my friend. Then he got famous. I don't really like him anymore. <laughs> but Don Jameson was always my friend, and he worked on Headbangers Ball, like, helping deal with the diva, Ricky. Yeah. I wasn't that bad of a diva. Well, the, the thing was, I had, you know, I had like l way long hair, so the minute they saw that, they go, oh, he, hey, you want to take care of Ricky Rackman? I go, oh, that'd be awesome, man. And then I had to start doing it, and then it wasn't as awesome, but, and then he was famous then, but I like him better when he's not but as Don, famous. But, thanks. But Don is, um, I never knew that Don was a comedian. Some people and, still uh, don't Yeah, know. so I'm playing, I just still didn't know, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy when I see him play because I love Don and he's really, really funny. And so, so, so me and Don do go way back. Yeah, thanks, Ricky. And it, I know, do. I think you're really funny. I like, I like, I like watching you perform. And I think it's a, you know, for me, it's a great honor when, you know, when we talk, when people talk about that metal show, they go, yeah, 
they go, uh, you know, hey, that's our, our headbangers ball. And I'm like, that's so cool. And they go, oh, no offense. I go, no, I, I think that's awesome because that was appointment television for metalheads back then, you know, with the years that you, oh, yeah. especially the years, obviously, that you did, you know, not, you know, when downtown Julie Brown put on a leather jacket when you had the sure. real deal in there. And we all sat home on Saturday night because yeah, we're dorks. Spent and many a Saturday night alone with Ricky. I, I mean, didn't. And we watched. I never watched. By the way, you were great on Jamie Jasta's podcast. Oh, thank you. Yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, he had me ride my motorcycle in freaking cold Connecticut with animals in the streets and stuff like that. But I'm going to go. All right. Take care. Talk to DJ. Thank you for talking awesome. to me. Thank you so much for taking the time I'll see to you, stop brother. by. Take a good luck on the road, man. Hey, look. It's Don Jameson. It's like the transition from old to new, right? Headbangers Ball. To from that old to show. old. Old to old, yes. And you're out here, I mean, you're just having a great time. Look, he's got the Viking horn full of booze already. Well, I'm getting ready for Amon Amarth tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be killer, I ra right? Raise My Horn, uh, which is their great song, Raise Your Horns, which I'm in the video, actually. You are? Yeah, I think I'm at like 4 minutes and 27 seconds. Not, not that you were counting or anything. No. no. Did you have to like get like all made up and like were you like a no? I just or? had to raise my horn. Oh, you just had you know. to raise the horn. Okay. Um, but there, you know, it's uh, you know, I do my comedy albums through Metal Blade Records, uh, but you know, and Amon Marth is a Metal Blade artist, but they just happen to be one of my favorite bands in the last ten years. They're probably my most favorite new band, new you know, right. in terms of metal years. But um, but I love them. I can't wait to see them here tomorrow and raise my horn. Cool, and you're out and about. I see you everywhere, man. You hang out with Faster Pussycat. You're on the Monster to Rock cruises. Tell us about what you're doing now, just on a daily basis, because everybody misses that metal show, man. Everybody does. That, well, no more than the three of us, believe me. Um, but you know, it's cool because Jim and I both do stand-up comedy, so we tour around. Um, obviously, I'm always keeping one foot in the metal world, one foot in the comedy world. Eddie's doing his radio show, so we're all we're all making a living, thank God. Uh, and but you know. It, it never ends with the fans, man, and we always say this, that the metal fans are the most loyal fans, and it really is true. I mean, you know, I've seen a ton of people with that Metal Show t-shirts on already this weekend, and so many people coming up and saying nice words. Hopefully we have a new life somewhere else in a new home, but if we don't, I'm so proud of everything we did, and we, and we really had a good run for three schmucks from New Jersey. <laughs> well, it's amazing that you guys took what you loved, your passion, you know, metal music, and made this great show out of it, and you realize how many other people out there are just like you. Well, that was that's pretty much the idea of the show from the beginning, which was, it's just three friends talking, you know, it's it's not um, nothing more than that. We're still, we're fans, and we wanted to give that vibe so that, and that's one of the best compliments I get from people. It's like, you're like me and my two buddies. We sit around and talk about the same stuff, and it's, that's the whole. That was the whole point of the show. So you know, that's always a great compliment. And again, man, people are just so loyal, and I, I just love seeing this kind of stuff. I, I love these festivals, especially in America, man. And we got to just keep metal alive. I agree with you. All right, ready? We're gonna borrow something from that metal show. Top five bands here this weekend. Go. Wow! I get you. Did you, you hand me? No, nothing. No cards. Nothing. Well, I, uh, you know, I really got a thrill out of seeing Body Count. Uh, Metal Church was amazing today. Kiss was incredible last night. Uh, Rob Zombie is always killer. But you know, that's what four is that five? That was. You know, four, we got to save one for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm, I'm on a mark tomorrow. Obviously, Slayer is gonna kill, and uh, of course, Zach back with Ozzy is gonna be kick ass. So you know, it's a good, a good variety. This, this, uh, you know, when you have. You have Kiss headlining one night, you have Korn headlining another night, and then you have Ozzy. The, you know, the, you kind of get an idea of like, there's pretty much something for everybody here. This is one that we kind of kick around, like you and your friends talking about stuff. If you had to make the heavy metal Mount Rushmore, who would be on it? Well, okay, so Tony Iommi, because he basically created heavy metal, right? Um, Rob Halford from Judas Priest. Um, He's definitely on the Mount Rushmore. How many presidents are on there? Four? Four. Damn, man, that's tough. Uh, do you put Eddie Van Halen up there? I th think you Personally, might. I would. I think you would have to, right? And um, fifth one, uh, fourth one. Oh, boy. Uh, man, because that's the tough slot right, now. There's, the last one. There's like 100 people, people who can uh, go in there. Uh, well, for me personally, Lemmy. I like that. He's my personal hero, and so I would put Lemmy up there too. Even though he 
claim to never be heavy metal, but uh, they, they were much heavier than most bands. Well, so Mount, let's put Lemmy up there. And Mount Rushmore's a rock, so realistically he qualifies there too. Right, right? and let's face it, those those moles would look awesome in granite. <laughs> really big and standing out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's Don Jameson from That Metal Show hanging out with the Strauss Project. Metal Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs>